Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have got a few things that I've picked up from Home Bargains, Wilkers and Morrisons. Um, a few things for the garden and the allotment. I've bought some more seeds um, to get planting. I've checked my little book out and it's got loads of things I can still plant in June. I thought it was far too late just with having only just got the plot. So I'm going to show you what I've got here and I've got a bag full of stuff here and here and here. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'll um, I'll show you everything that I got and then where I've got prices I'll pop them on the screen I'll let you know and yeah I hope you enjoy my haul. So I went in actually to see if they had a hanging basket I'll show you that first actually. Um, the last few years I've bought my hanging baskets from home bargains and they've been absolutely fab. Now they usually do have one that's a bit bigger than this one this is the large one I think and this comes in at 20 pounds but they do do another one I think which is 25 or 30 pounds and then um, honestly they grow so so big but I went last week and there weren't any in popped in yesterday and they had three left so I've literally grabbed this one and um, it was really nice actually and they grow huge I'll um, pop a little picture of it in here once I've hung it up and then you can see what it looks like and then we'll check in on it in a month or so and I'll show you how it's growing but yeah I think this was 20 pounds um, and it's honestly they're brilliant Oh, well, I used to spend about £50 on my baskets and since discovering these ones I haven't looked back at honestly beautiful amazing value for money. They also had this really cute little hanging basket, it's like a little wicker basket. I think it was like £7.99. Now I saw them selling baskets like this in Yorkshire Trading and literally the baskets alone were like seven or eight pounds so the fact this is all planted up is absolutely gorgeous. I've got this just for on my garage well it's the gym now but it was the garage but I've got a little basket um hanging bracket there so I'll pop that on there so yeah but it's like full it's really nice honestly the plant quality are good and they're well looked after they're really well watered um I'm so so impressed with home bargains and their plants um I thought just a little pack of mixed lobelia trailer I'm gonna make some pots up so I've got some trailing lobelia and I've got some, I think these are at 150 I think, for the pack. These are a fountain formula mix, some more lobelia. Um, I've got a little pack of geraniums. How many is there? Six geraniums. And then a load of busy lizzies. There's lots in here. Um, what's it? One, two, three, four, five. So there's 20 little small plants in there. I mean, they grow fab, they're so nice. And then some trailing petunias. So I thought they'd be nice to just go in and pots for around the garden. Um, I've got just a pack of pots here. Um, what size pots are these? Does it say? It looks like they're about three inches, are they? Two and a half inches. I don't think it says, but they're only, they weren't very much at all, but they're good. They've got a the little tray in the bottom and then the pots come out individually. So I thought that's great. It's just something good to have. Let me bring the bag up here and then I can show you. I'll ask them down here. I'll show you these tubs. So I've got four of these tubs, which I've already got my dailies in already as well. I think they were like 2 99 I think, for these, which is a complete and utter bargain. So they're 40, 40 centimetre pots. And then I got a couple of little troughs there as well. So I'll bring this over. Hang on, I'm just going to pause you. Okay, that's a bit easier. Um, I've got these just to go over the pergola, over the pond. Um, I don't know what they're like. I opened them up to have a little look. Um, and they're only £10. And it's just some little solar bulbs. Can you even see them? Um, I'm not sure how far they'll go, but if they look all right and if they sort of look nice when they're lit up, um, I'll go back and get another couple of other packs as well. Um, again, once they're up, I'll show you a picture of those, maybe on my Instagram or something. Um, I got some little um, pots, just um, little growing pots there. They're always handy to have in. What else? I'm just looking for gardening things in here. <laughs> got some bath salts. <laughs> Um, a little head thing for the Jubilee. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything else gardening in there. Um, let's have a look in here. Okay. So I've um, picked up some paint to 
do the shed down on the allotment and this is from Wilkers and it's beach hot blue. I thought it'd be quite nice. Um, it's only six pounds a tin, but just now all their garden stuff has got 10% off. So I've got two tins of that. I'll just thought it'll make it a little bit brighter down there. I have got loads and loads and loads of seeds. Um, I just, I'll just i soon, hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, have some beds in at the allotment. So I thought it'd be a really good time just to start some seeds off now here at the house. And then hopefully I'll be able to take them down there and pop them in. And a lot of these as well I can also do um, at home in the gardening tubs or in the flower beds. So I've checked my book, as I say, and there's loads of things you can still plant in June. It's not too late, so I'm really, really happy about that. So I've just picked up some beetroot. cauliflower oh, I must, must be crackers I mean I don't know where I'm going to put all this um, some peas I've got loads of stuff here um, some iceberg lettuce some loose leaf lettuce baby carrots and radishes these seeds here were from Morrison's and they were four for five pounds I think the rest of them have all come from Wilco's um, some runner beans um, some broccoli, so I'm really excited to do that. So yeah, that'll be ready in the autumn. Um, some dwarf French beans, some pumpkins, mainly for my grandson, so that we can then um, go and harvest some pumpkins in the autumn. So I really hope they'll be ready for Halloween. Um, some sweet corn, apparently I can just get this in just in time. I'm nearly too late, but not quite. So. I desperately want to grow sweet corn and I don't know why but I just really really do um, and I've got some cucumber I think these ones are like meant to have quite thin skin so they should be so tough and these can be grown outside as well without a greenhouse so we'll give them a go I didn't even know you could do like that without greenhouses until like the last few weeks and um, that's how much of a novice I am <laughs> um, I've got some courgettes because apparently everyone can grow courgettes and then some purple sprouting broccoli um, oh, no, that's not it. I've got a few more things here. I've got some, oh, I've got a pack of zinnia as well. So I've got a lot of other things as well in the house already, which I've got in previous hauls. So yeah, I should be well sorted to, um, like, be able to get everything done. And obviously I'm not going to plant all of those seeds. I'm just going to do a few of each. And then I should hopefully be able to, like, I'll put the packets um, in, like, a tin, like, so they're dark and dry. And hopefully they'll do again for next year. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything um short and sweet but a nice little video really and i'm excited to get these up so i will show you a picture of the baskets once they're hanging up and then yeah i hope you enjoyed this quick little video so thank you so much for watching take care if you've um, enjoyed this give me a thumbs up please consider subscribing and i'll see you all in my next video bye for now